Welcome to our video today where we will be discussing the Turing test. Alan Turing was one of the pioneers of computer science who proposed a test in 1950 to evaluate whether a computer system can exhibit intelligence similar to humans. This test is what we now call the Turing test. The core idea of the Turing test is to have a human judge engage in a conversation with a computer program through an interactive medium, without knowing whether they are talking to a human or a computer program. If the judge is unable to distinguish between the computer program and a human, the computer program is considered to have passed the Turing test and demonstrated human-like intelligence. While the Turing test may seem miraculous, no AI has passed the Turing test so far. It is not a perfect test as it can only assess a computer program's ability to mimic human language behavior and not other aspects of intelligence such as perception, reasoning, decision-making, and so on. Therefore, passing the Turing test does not necessarily mean that a computer program has true intelligence and further exploration and research are required. So, what are the practical applications of the Turing test? It is actually a method for evaluating artificial intelligence systems. We can use the Turing test to determine if an artificial intelligence system can simulate human capabilities. Additionally, the Turing test can be used to study the nature and mechanisms of human intelligence, further exploring our own wisdom. During the Turing test, the judge can ask a wide range of questions to determine whether they are interacting with a human or a computer program. Some common questions include those about personal interests, experiences, and opinions. The judge may also ask questions that require complex reasoning or problem-solving skills, as well as questions that test the system's ability to understand and respond to humor. Let's imagine that the chat GPT participates in the Turing test. What is the most likely result? As a large language model based on the GPT-4 architecture, ChatGPT can simulate human language behavior and provide automatic responses based on language inputs, giving it an advantage in passing the Turing test. If the judge cannot discern whether ChatGPT is a human or a computer program, then it would pass the Turing test. However, this does not necessarily mean that ChatGPT has true intelligence, as it is just a natural language processing program based on machine learning algorithms, lacking true perception, reasoning, and decision-making abilities. On the other hand, if the judge can easily discern that ChatGPT is a computer program, then it would not pass the Turing test. However, ChatGPT still holds value as the basis for various natural language processing applications such as speech recognition, machine translation, intelligent customer service, and more. In conclusion, no AI has passed the Turing test so far. Nevertheless, this test provides a way to consider artificial intelligence and helps us better understand the similarities and differences between humans and computers. The Turing test is an ongoing challenge that pushes the boundaries of what we think computers can do. Thank you for watching my video. Brother Chin will share more interesting videos in the future about the universe, the earth, science, and dreams. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great content. Remember, the wider your heart, the broader your stage.